And it's not bad, is it? But you can hear the sound is a bit breaking. Um, maybe you can actually adjust um, the screen quality and the sound and so on, but it's a bit buffering a bit if you see what I mean. Well, 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 so what do we have here is the Ambernic, uh, the game console model number RG351V. So basically, as you know, I already made a review on the Funky S, which is one of the tiniest uh, classic arcade game player, which I love it. Actually, on and off, I do play it, but I want something more powerful and more uh, options available. At the moment, I believe the Funky S does not have the capacity of playing Mame, which is one of the most important arcade game. And apparently this model uh, number RG351V has a really good review and it's been almost half a year, less than a half a year since it has been released and it's really good apparently. So I just bought this from Amazon, 115 British pounds uh, in UK, but unfortunately because it wasn't in this country and took a few more days, I got it from Germany apparently, uh, Germany Amazon, and I immediately got a discount, which is, was a very good deal. So I'm very excited about this. So let's get into the unboxing. All right, so this should be pretty straightforward. Opens up and this is basically the protective cover for all the control buttons. And um, let's take it out. But before we get into this, there's something below, which is, um, okay, plastic cover. <laughs> Um, right, so some of the, oh, check this out actually, I didn't expect this at all actually, but I think what this is, is the screen protector. You've got an option to put in a screen protector if you want to, but it will depend on the quality of the screen. So I'm not sure how many people actually end up putting it, but this is just the quick instruction on um, how this works. So please do pause and have a look. Oh, actually, let's just open it up, shall we? So all the instructions in Chinese, unfortunately. Oh, actually on English as well, okay? And those are the wipes for the screen protector. And um, that's just another quick start guide. And we got a bit long uh, USB-C cable here. So let's get into the main device, shall we? Wow, that's really nice. But already you can see that the smudge has been applied to the screen. But let's do a quick comparison with the Funky S, shall we? So you can see why I'm dramatically um, upgrading it from Funky S to the Ambernic uh, model, okay? So the RG351V. And you can see that they're a bit of a cousiny kind of feel because this is both transparent. Uh, I like the transparent purple indeed, but this is the transparent gray. So let's get into the actual details of the quality speaker. So I, I, what I like about it is this is like the PlayStation-y kind of joysticks, select, start function. Probably that will be the coin uh, for the Mame and uh, extra. That's very playstation-y kind of feel and um, yeah that's a nice feel actually I like that and on the back side as well we've got two buttons which is the L1, L2 and R2 and R1 okay uh, so the thickness I don't know whether it's a good comparison actually but um, yeah it's much thicker but I like the, the way how it actually was thicker and then it gets thinner on the top for the screen I guess this is the on button R, I'm not sure, reset I guess, maybe. So this is for the um, memory card, two of them I believe. Um, and this is the volume up and down. So on the bottom of the device you can see that there are two USB plugs. I presume one is for power, one is for data transfer and I believe this is for earphone jack. So what this comes with as a default on the top slot uh, is the micro SD card of 16 gigabytes. Okay, so this is purely for the operation side of the software. And on the bottom, the second 
SD card slot, if you take it out, is, let's have a look. Yeah, it's 64 gigabytes, which makes a lot of sense. So um, you will realize that there's actually 58 gigabytes already used for various games installed already, okay? Okay, so let's press the on button. Ah, Ambronic. Okay, so there was a bit of a vibration to indicate that there's gonna be um, some vibration during the game, which is really good. Green light on and um, it's starting. Brilliant, love that screen size. I know I keep comparing, but um, this just shows my delight uh, from the Funky S upgrade to the Ambronic game device. So let's see, ah. So, okay, so there's, there's Mame here, but let's see what are the, oh, brilliant. So they already have tons of games that I could actually explore. Um, I was expecting a bit more, actually. That there are only uh, just a certain amount. It's not like thousands and thousands. Um, so the Capcom, you got MSX. Uh, what's this? The PC Engine, Nintendo. So you can you can see that. Okay, Nintendo. They got quite a lot actually. So do you have to? All right, so there's 297 games, Game Boy, that's just some, um, okay, so how many, 219 WF Superstar, that's nice, Super Nintendo, you get the idea how many games there are in here, yeah, but for me, the most important thing is Mame, to be honest with you, um, so, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, Genesis, um, Sega, Mega Drive, Dreamcast. There are only certain games on Dreamcast. Soul Calibur, brilliant. Okay, so if we go to, P there's also PSP as well, which is really good. Grand Theft Auto, um, Pro Evolution Soccer as well, 2011. Okay, um, so all games, you can actually go through the whole games and favorites you can enter and that's pretty much it look at that that's a good animation there i can see that the dreamcast itself is a bit pixelated the logo um yeah okay let's press start select start i guess it's because it's uh namco yeah it's not that clear the actual um, graphics is a bit pixelated but it's all in Japanese oh a bit of um uh, you can see that the actual oh, that's not good okay so it's not perfect the default games but I'm sure you can actually compensate it with um, let's try Killick Killick is my favorite actually um, and Maxi. And it's not bad, is it? But you can hear the sound is a bit breaking. Um, maybe you can actually adjust um, the screen quality and the sound and so on, but it's a bit buffering a bit, if you see what I mean. Yeah, so there you go. So you can actually play Soul Calibur, but it's not perfectly designed for it. But you can actually, um, I hope, readjust the quality of the sound and pixel as well. So one of the thing about um, Funky S is that even though it has enough uh, memory, it's very difficult to put in four memories of Final Fantasy VII, etc. But what I just discovered is that this actually has Final Fantasy series here uh, for PlayStation 1. So if I click on Final Fantasy, what, what's a bit annoying is that you can't, oh, you have to wait until it actually scrolls. But I got four different Final Fantasies here. So this is CD1, CD2, oh, CD9, CD2. Okay, so this is Final Fantasy 9, is it? Uh, CD3. So you can play Final Fantasy 9, which is very good. 
So initially I thought if I were to plug this in directly to my computer, it will you'll be able to see the folder to transfer all the games into this device. But unfortunately, that's not how it works. So it took me a while to understand it, but uh, you got to make sure you have a PC that is Windows 10 and also your laptop, for example, or your desktop needs to have a uh, micro US USD uh, memory card slot available so that you could actually slot it in. Luckily, I actually have an adapter here that I could actually put in uh, my micro SD memory card. So let's say if I were to take out again on the second slot, um, I need to take that out. And then I put that into my adapter here. And then I plug it in to the adapter, sorry, the um, memory card. So you can hear the sound there. So that's how you can see the folder to your PC and transfers files, okay? So let's say if you're not really happy with this layout, which I think is really cool, um, I'm going to stick with this one anyway. But before we get into that, you can actually save your favorite games by um, when you go to that list of the favorite games, you just need to press Y and it will be on your list. OK, so um, there's other options of scrolling through this whole thing or um, playing around with this software and etc. What you need to do is press select and you need to select the start retro arch okay so if you start that it will ask you on again and then you just press yes and then what you're going to get soon is this almost like a playstation kind of uh, layout which i think is pretty cool actually so um you could um you know just it's pretty simplified but in a different way of um operating this whole device if you see what i mean and um, i think it's pretty cool actually and it's worth highlighting and there are a few things i actually downloaded and updated in here which i have no idea because i'm not a software engineer but um, i'm sure many of you guys know what it is but anyway if you want to come out of it you just need to go to the far left hand side menu and then press quit uh, retro arch okay so when I initially started the whole system and scrolled through the whole game list, I was actually amazed. Um, I was initially expecting it to download manually myself to go to this random website, but there are pretty good contexts in here that I could really enjoy. And unfortunately, I don't think I have enough time to go through the whole lot to say this game works, this game doesn't work, but there's enough settings that you can actually change. I'm sure you could actually uh, change the size of the screen and the sound and the delays and the speed of the game and etc. I know you have seen some of the delays early on in a certain game but um, and, and so on but I'm really excited to play with this game. I mean it's a huge upgrade for me from Funky S to this where um, Funky S is more like there were just only small amount of very well unknown games uh, that I have to manually feed into that to be able to play some of the games I really want to pay, play. But the Funky Yes, as you know, uh, you can't really play Mame as far as I'm concerned. But there's tons of Mame games here and any other game systems that I'm not really aware of. There's like three types of Capcom. Um, msx which i'm not sure what it is and um you see what i mean there's so many things to explore at this moment i can't really grasp the size and the entertainment uh, amount of entertainment that i could i i will be able to enjoy uh, on this device but um yeah really good uh very nice feel overall nice weight and also the button the feel is really good it kind of reminds me of psp in some way and in fact there are psp games here as well so anyhow i hope this video is one of the best first hand review that you're going to see on youtube but if you have any queries regards to this product please do comment below and i'll try my best to come back to you when i can see the comments so thank you very much for watching this video this is ljp tech all the best Bye-bye.